Today, I wanted to talk about small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, also known as SIBO. I wanted to cover what SIBO is, as well as some common symptoms that I see in my patients that make me suspect SIBO. And then I wanted to cover why SIBO is a problem, you know, that needs to be dealt with if it's found. Hey folks, my name is Todd Mansfield. I'm a clinical herbalist here in Australia, and this video is the first video in a series that I'm going to be doing on SIBO. And there is a free ebook that you can download in the link in the description below. It's called The Complete Guide to Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth. It's got over 10,000 plus words, 60 plus references, and it's really a deep dive into small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. But for the first video, we're just going to be covering the basics. What is SIBO? What are some of the common symptoms? And why is it a problem? All right, let's get into it. So first off, what is SIBO? SIBO is an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestines. It's all in the name. It's pretty simple to understand. Originally, we thought that the small intestine was sterile. As we're learning about different areas of the body, the small intestine does have a healthy population of microbes, and it's only when those microbes are allowed to overgrow that SIBO develops and we have these problems that we're going to be talking about shortly. So the symptoms of SIBO, we've got bloating and distension, we've got uh, gassiness and burping, and we've also got diarrhea and or constipation. There's some other ones that are less SIBO specific. You've got abdominal pain and nausea. You could even have non-gut related symptoms like joint pain and fatigue. But really the bloating, the gassiness and the belching, the diarrhea and or constipation, those are big symptoms that make me think, okay, maybe SIBO is playing a role in your digestive issues. And uh, the big headline here is that if these gut-centric symptoms worsen after a meal, right there I'm thinking we definitely need to test for SIBO. And most often I will recommend a SIBO breath test for patients that are experiencing these symptoms. So we've covered what SIBO is, we've covered what are some of the common symptoms, and lastly I just wanted to cover why it's a problem that needs to be addressed so with that bacterial overgrowth in the small intestines, we find a really impaired digestive function. Basically, your digestion is shot. You can't actually break down and use the nutrients that you're eating. So commonly, I'll see vitamin deficiencies. That's a really big one. Malabsorption and also malnutrition, you know, maybe even weight loss right there, you know, significant weight loss, you know, not healthy weight loss. Um, and then, you know, maybe some of the kind of end consequences there would be things like leaky gut. And that's pretty significant, that's serious, you know, it's associated with serious diseases like autoimmune diseases, you know, multiple sclerosis, lupus, type 1 diabetes, inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease. These are all autoimmune diseases that are associated, if not being caused in part by leaky gut, you know, this intestinal permeability picture. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Don't forget to download the ebook in the link below. Uh, comment or like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you are experiencing digestive issues, then consider getting in touch with me here at Byron Herbalist. I work with people online and in person at the Byron Bay Clinic in New South Wales. We'll see you in the next video.